please welcome Dr. D. Wayne Edwards, founder, Pencil Lewis College of Business and Design, Justin Kerwald, President and Chief Executive Officer, Trade Home Shoes, Inc., and Jeff Stern, Senior Vice President, Rocky Brands, Inc., with Larry Schwartz, Chief Executive Officer, Atrex, Inc. All right, first, I uh, just want to thank FN for bringing this excellent summit back to Miami. We always have felt this is the best meeting in the industry, so thanks for bringing it back where it belongs. Atrex really is a technology company. Our primary goal is to help make the industry smarter in terms of fit and function through technology. Um, when we had the meeting in New York last September, I did a presentation that really went into the weeds about what we do and the technologies that we have. Uh, we thought this time we would bring in some industry leaders to talk about their experiences using our technology. So we're going to do a panel instead. Um, before we get started, for those that are new to our company, I just want to go briefly through and uh, cover the technology products that we have so it will make more sense when the guys are talking about it. Okay, the, uh, the centerpiece product that we have is our foot scanners. Um, for us, we really follow the Apple model in that we design, develop, and create all aspects of the tech. We make the hardware, we make the UI, UX, we make the software, and we feel that this leads to a better user experience. We have three scanners in our fleet of scanners. One is a, just simply a pressure scanner, and uh, this is really about foot health and comfort. Um, the middle scanner on the, on the screen is our 3D fit scanner. This is about capturing a, a 3D reconstruction of the foot and using AI to help get you in the right shoes. And our flagship scanner is the Albert II Pro, which integrates the, the other two scanners. It has pressure underfoot, it has 3D as well, and that's the primary one that, that we sell out into the marketplace. Fit Genius is our proprietary AI plugin. Uh, this plugs into your website and is really designed to reduce returns online. It's really about 3D. So it's not designed to figure out if a shoe runs long or short. It's about matching your feet with shoes and lasts that will fit your foot correctly. Um, for example, I have a very low volume foot. I have a narrow foot and a low instep. So I have a terrible time buying shoes online. I return about three quarters of the shoes I buy. This is designed to match me with shoes that will fit my foot. And somebody with a wider foot, they'll be getting different shoes recommended. And uh, it's a product that we launched last year. We also use the 3D data that we get from our foot scanning to help you de design and develop shoes. So foot.com is a data portal where you can log on, and if you're developing a shoe, let's say you, go, you want to make a, a shoe for the US market, you can actually pull up a, a shoe that for a women's eight and get all the three-dimensional measurements that you need to develop a last based on truly what a women's eight would be. Would, uh, would be. So if you're designing shoes in widths, you can even pull up the 10% te widest population, and you can pull all the, you can, pull 16 different 3D measurements, and there's a lot that you can do to help develop smarter shoes. We're in the mobile space as, as well. SizeRight is a mobile app that's embedded into your website, so your consumers never have to leave the site. It's actually on there where you can very quickly, with one click, take a picture of the foot and get, and get length and width. It's not going to be as accurate as a 3D scanner, but what we found is that it increases conversion, it, you capture a lot of data, you capture emails, and there's a slight reduction in returns as well from size right. Uh, for us, we also use the data and learnings from our technology to develop our own footwear and orthotic lines. This is really important for our business, but it's not really relevant for today's discussion. And then finally, uh, we're in 63 countries. These are some of the brands that utilize uh, different tech products that we have. And, um, and that's my brief overview. Let's get into the panel. So um, Justin, we'll start with you. And uh, uh, 
you know, a lot of times I'm asked, how do we get started? How, how should a company get started using the tech? So maybe you can talk about the journey at Trade Home and, and how you got started with, uh, with our technology. Sure. Uh, well, first off, uh, admittedly, we were uh, a little behind when you talk about Atrex being a technology first company. Uh, our relationship started uh, in the footwear space. And uh, Jason, Matt with Atrex, very familiar with Trade Home, they, they had the foresight to ultimately encourage us to, to give it a run. So in May of 2019, we launched uh, the scanning program in five of our stores. And just for context to anyone not familiar with Trade Home Shoes, at that point we had 100 locations. So uh, just barely dipped our toe in the water. And immediately we saw the impact. Uh, return rates went down significantly in those locations. Customer feedback was very, very strong. So uh, quickly we incorporated the Albert into 15 additional doors. And did a calculated rollout uh, over 2019, 2020 kind of put a pause on it for obvious reasons. And 2021 uh, reignited the initiative. And fast forward to today, uh, we've got 130 locations and Alberts are in the vast majority of our stores. And anytime that we do a remodel or build a new location, uh, the placement of the scanning device is it's first and foremost in how we construct our sales floor. Have you found that it's really, that it's changed the in-store experience for consumers that shop at Trade Home? So, you know, we're, we're a customer service based retailer, right? Uh, keep all of our product in the back room, greet, seat, measure feet, uh, and, and now it's not using Brannock devices, right? So. Uh, initially, part of my, my personal apprehension was, you know, we can get busy and our basic square footage is about 2,500 with half of it being showroom and a little reluctant based on, gosh, you know, how much time are we going to have tied up at the machines and are we going to have a, you know, a bottleneck and uh, that wasn't the case at all. I mean, right. the, the speed of the, the scan, getting customers uh, seated. It, it happened really efficiently and our feedback and I, I suppose part of it is the trust from the consumer with, with the data that's available and just the experience overall uh, brings a lot of validity to the presentation when, when you talk about upselling, cross-selling, any suggestion that you can do, having our associates know the information that the Albert presents uh, just gives a lot of peace of mind to consumers. And, you know, they, 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 they're not used to that, right? You know, when we talk about Brannock devices and things of that nature, and most stores don't even incorporate that into their presentation. So when they get an email with all of these dimensions of, of their personalized foot dimensions, low volume, high volume, whatever the yeah. case may be, uh, they continue to shop with us. They tell other people to come in and give this a try because it's, it's not common, right? It's, a, it's really atypical, especially... Not, not yet, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. Uh, fair. Uh, and the other thing when you talk to the accuracy of the machines, which is another thing that I was a little bit nervous about is, you know, as, as customers go through their, just their journey, right? Uh, health, wellness, people's, their, their lifestyle changes, uh, their dimensions change, and, and you can see that. I, you can see that through their foot scans, is if, if somebody's really diligent and they, they make a, a change, you can, you can see those changes with the, the volume of their foot as well. So just uh, the precision of the device uh, continues to, to really floor people. Any other KPIs or anything else you want to share regarding uh, the use of the scanners? So uh, since we incorporated in 2019, right, um, from 
that point until now, uh, our company's overall revenue has doubled. Mm. Uh, the machines help with retention, customer retention, and with getting new customers to shop with us. Uh, another point that we were a little bit reluctant on is we, we have a, a good relationship with a couple other uh, a couple other brands in the orthotic and insole space. And while our revenue is doubled, our insole slash orthotic business has nearly quadrupled. And the other partners that we work with, their sales haven't dropped off. So Atrex has just, it has absolutely added to the revenue of our, our business. And uh, the, the margin with that type of product is considerably higher than that of footwear. So uh, now Trade Home Shoes uses shoes as a loss leader and uh, we make our <laughs> money off of, uh, the, the, that, that's not the case. But. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, Let's, of course. I'm gonna shift to Jeff. Uh, Jeff, maybe you can talk about Lehigh in general and how fit is important for your business. So absolutely. Um, so Lehigh, for those who aren't familiar, uh, our business is managing safety footwear programs for essentially Fortune 500 companies. Um, and we go in and from soup to nuts, we manage the entire program so that their safety teams or their HR teams don't have to, to deal with any of it. Um, so one of the things we do and, and how we came to incorporate Atrex probably I think about six years ago, we eliminated all of our trucks and we were going in and so we have to overcome the, the big uh, concept in that world that, that trucks are the way that you service uh, industrial customers for safety footwear. Uh, we showed up with the Atrex machine and really changed the game. Uh, Justin talked about it a little bit that it, it really delights the customer, the employee, when they come in and we scan their feet and we tell them things about their feet that they never knew. Um, and it's, it's a fun guessing game with them. But, but part of our, our offering is that we offer free freight, whether it's returns uh, or first deliveries, Every, every freight that we offer to the customer is free. So we have a very vested interest in getting that fit right the first time and not doing that return because a return can cost us somewhere between $15 and $25 just in freight costs, uh, depending on where it's coming from. So there's a significant savings and a good ROI on investing in this equipment. Um, so we've, we've utilized that to, to, uh, to our advantage and, and really built that out. You guys were the first to go live with Fit Genius on your, on your website. Uh, maybe you can share how that's gone in terms of reducing those returns. Absolutely. So we, um, when, we, when we started prior to Atrex, um, our return rates were probably in 13, 15, 16 percent. Um, currently, uh, we're, we're averaging about an 8 percent return rate, uh, but in the trailing three months, we're, we're averaging about 7.6 percent return rate. So we continue to drive that down. A lot of that is, is uh, because of Atrex and because of Fit Genius, because not only do we scan the feet, then we also take the Fit Genius uh, AI, apply that to the footwear uh, catalogs, the curated catalogs that we create, uh, and then we, the, we can come back to them with a recommendation on a percentage fit, 98% fit, mm -hmm. or if it's an 85 or an 80% fit, we might say that might not be the best for you. So it allows us to, to get a better fit the first time and continue to work on reducing those rates. It's really for Fit Genius and 3D in general, the main reason we're developing it is to reduce returns online. You know, in store, there, you have the opportunity to keep trying on shoes until you get the right fit. But um, without having, without capturing someone's foot in 3D, it's really tough online. So, um, Jeff, anything else you want to share with everybody about the experience so far with the tech? Uh, I, I think it's, um, it's, it's been for us a very much of a game changer. Uh, as I said, we, we go into a, a customer and they they feel very strongly, the employees do, that their, their employer cares about them because we go in and we t make the effort to get them fitted properly. We fit them with orthotics as well. And that creates a great work environment. So a lot of uh, companies are looking at it as a retention and also for an employee morale builder. Mm -hmm. And so I think those are, are two uh, added benefits that we've been able to, to derive from the, from the program. Thanks, Jeff. 
And D. Wayne, we actually met at the FN Summit yeah. last time, where yeah. uh, I think after I did the presentation, you asked a question, and yeah. pretty quickly we uh, uh, we ended up getting getting a scanner out to the school. So maybe you can talk about how uh, you know how that's that started and how it's going with the students. Yeah, as, as you said, we, we met at the summit in September. Um, after watching the presentation, I immediately was like, I need that in the college. Because as a designer for the last three decades, like the, the more information you can have to inform your design process, the more accurate the, the product will come. And so by us being a college that focuses specifically on footwear, we, you know, we saw the benefit instantly. And so we, you know, Justin and your team came out and installed the program. Um, it was uh, the Albert Pro, and it was during our New Balance class that we had, and, and it was perfectly timed because during that session, the students were designing five different products for five different athletes. And they all ranged in different sports and activities and performance features. So them being able to have that data to be able to scan not only their feet, but then even inviting in athletes that were represented for those individual sports, that informed you know, how they designed the product. Um, and as we presented it to New Balance, they, they love kind of the direction of visual research and, and everything that we were able to uh, acquire from that, from the scanners. But then I also saw there's also expanded opportunities associated with it but being at the very beginning of the process, even on the manufacturing side. Being able to design product and create new last and unique last at the manufacturing side and informs the product and then it gets to you and then it gets to you, but you're doing it at the very beginning of the process, which is super critical for us. Uh, and then even lastly, the last commercial opportunity we have is I can't can't name the company right now, but they make million dollar cars. <laughs> and uh, we have a session coming up with them where we'll customize shoes specifically for them and their vehicles. But all of the shoes, um, all before we even start designing the shoes, they'll be scanned so they can have a very specific glass for their feet. Um, and, and that's coming up um, as well. But looking at it through that lens of a technical point of view of the benefits there, even to the commercial lifestyle side of things, but really having the accurate fit, it just informs the creative process. Are the students enjoying using the technology? Oh, they love it. I mean, fir first thing, you know, it's, it's in the lobby, so you guys see kind of how it looks. And so they walk up to us like, what, what, what is this thing, right? And then they were like, oh, get on and show, show you how it works. And, and once, they, once they get it, they're just blown away because they didn't know that their feet had so much data associated with it. And, and so it really challenged them to look at the way that they walk and their types and their foot types and their fit and the brands that they have in their closet in a whole new way. Oh, thanks, thanks for bringing it into the school. Anything else that you wanna share regarding the, the experience? Well, one, I wanna say thank you. I mean, you know, we, we are historically black college um, and we're the you know, first college you guys chose to work with. And HBCUs have been you know, historically poorly funded and, and our goal is to not only create the, base, the best HBCU, but the best design school in the country. And it starts with technology and the partners that we have. And you guys have been amazing being able to, to share the technology and all the information with us. Oh, thank um, you. And it's gonna be incorporated into everything that we do moving forward as well. Questions, if anybody has any questions for any of us. So. Hi, Larry, I have a question. Um, I'm FN Style Director, so I deal with you know, a lot more fashion footwear. And I don't know that much about Atrex's technology, but I do see that there is some sort of future in the women's dress shoe market. So I just love your thoughts on that, where that could start. I, yeah, I mean, we see it as it really should be anywhere where someone's selling shoes. Um, you know, when, when I was doing the presentation last September, I showed the evolution of foot measuring in store compared to the phone. And, you know, everybody's still using a Brannock device that made sense a long time ago. And, right. and um, when you think about it, your, your feet are three-dimensional and you're just doing this linear measurement. So um, really in any space where you sell shoes, it makes sense to do 3D measuring. Um, again, it doesn't, in terms of reducing returns, it's not as big a deal in store as online. But uh, for any, any category, being able to capture the foot, it's actually quicker than than a Brannock device. Um, so we believe there's a place for it in, in really every type of, of business that sells shoes. And then it gets integrated into your e-commerce model. Uh, so there's a lot of benefits that way too. 
Um, in store, people have the advantage of just trying on shoes, five, six pair until they get the right one. You know, that doesn't work online. Yeah. So. A question, what is your biggest um, challenge in convincing people to embrace the technology? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just getting started. It's, you know, one thing about having a, several different products that we call, that, that's a suite of products is that it can be a lot. So, you know, what we always say is the best thing is just to get some scanners and get started. You know, you can do Fit Genius as a stage two, but most companies, they'll do what Justin did. They'll start with five scanners or 10 scanners, and then they'll see the benefits. And one of the biggest benefits is that over and over again, you sell more shoes. So you have a better consumer experience. You're, you're actually providing a benefit to the consumer. You're reducing returns online. But the key is just keep it simple and start by just getting some scanners and dive in. And then, you know, that's, the, that's stage one. Stage two, we can integrate the the plugins for your website, possibly the mobile app if, if that's something you're interested in, but uh, that's the key, we think. Right. They're excited about the retail side. I'm excited about the design side. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, for, for designing product for professional athletes for a while, they all have different sh shaped feet, and a lot of times they don't know uh, until they get to the, to the league and they're able to be fitted with orthotics, but that's only on the bottom. And we have to figure out the rest of the shoe. And, and that's what Atrix allows us to do now is to inform the students when, when they're looking at creating product, look at the entire foot instead of just underneath the foot. Because that's the that's a critical part of the whole product creation process. And and so that's the that's the value I really think that once it gets into the factory side and it's the way you develop last, and then that integrates into production then you'll start to see the reduction of returns and, and things of that nature as it hits retail. But you have, to, you have to design it at the beginning and the rest of the process will take care of itself from there. And when you think about how much guesswork we've all been doing developing last, you know, now you can, you can log in on foot.com and actually get the three-dimensional measurements. So we've had a lot of companies sign up over the last year since we launched and uh, yeah, we're, we are, it's, um, it's very low cost too, but uh, it's really helping people develop smarter shoes that, that fit better. So I think we had, somebody had a question here. Yeah. Hi, Larry. Yeah, David with Spring Hi. Footwear. Good to see you. So, thank you. I wanted to know, uh, you know like what type of uh, return rate do you see in your own uh, website when selling footwear? I'm sorry? What? Return, return rate? Return rate on footwear. Yeah, return, I mean, in terms of Fit Genius and the return rate? Yeah, I know. For, for your own uh, website, you know, you're selling Atrox. Yeah, we, we've seen returns. We don't have stores, so we have most of our customers that buy on Atrox.com don't have their 3D scans. But the return rate is about uh, close to 50% of what the general return rate is uh, for customers with Fit Genius, similar to what, what Jeff has seen. So. So in order to get the measurement, uh, you need the last dimension or it's basically based on the... So it's based, the, the way the AI works is it learns in store what different types of feet will buy through the, the fitting process. So if you have stores where people are coming in and they're trying on different shoes, based on what they leave with and, and what they don't return, that's considered a, a successful fit. So. Um, the way the AI works, it's kind of like Netflix, where it'll match you with different shows that other people with similar profiles use. So um, if, you, if somebody logs into the website, or if you do an email where it can automatically pull the 3D scan, it'll put you with, sh with shoes that similar feet, from a three-dimensional standpoint, have had successful purchases with. So uh, it learns these types of feet, like these types of shoes, and, the, and also return these shoes. And then it does a grading system based on that. So um, if a shoe, if you log on, a shoe that might be in the high 90s for you might be a 60 for me and vice versa. So it's really designed to custom match you based on your feet with shoes that are right for your feet. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Can you speak a little bit to how you plan on utilizing the 
anonymous metadata that's been collected across all your different partners and what that could look like from an upstream development design standpoint? Yeah, I mean, the, the data that's on foot.com is anonymous. So that's something important to point out. There's no identifier with it. Um, but, you know, it allows, it, it really allows, any, anywhere where there's scanners, any country where we have scanners, it allows you to pull data from that part of the world and see what, the, what feet are like. So, you know, one thing that's been exciting to see is that in areas of the world, like, Scandinavia, for example, where, where we have a lot of scanners, feet are very different than in the U.S. There's a lot more higher arches and different shapes, so, um, you know, you'll be able to log on, pull a different area of the world, and, and actually measure anything. We're working on a new, a new feature that we call Lasso, where, again, you can pull out an average size to develop a shoe and actually measure any aspect of the foot. So people that are developing Lass are real excited about it. Quick question. Um, as a parent, ever trying to you know, measure your child's foot size, um, it's really difficult, and then you end up ordering three pairs or returning some. Have you used this in kids, or is, that, is it strictly for adult feet only? You know, it's, there's, we're getting more and more calls about uh, for kids' programs, including a few people in this room. Um, it does measure, it really measures any object. So uh, it is a good tool for kids. We, we're going to work on a, uh, a more fun user interface for, for children to have hopefully, probably, we'll probably end up launching that around the fall. But in its current form, it does work well for kids. And, um, and after the test, you can use a QR code and it can be emailed to the parent. Um, and it, it's something that you can use hopefully to help make more inf informed buying decisions for kids. Justin, have you guys used it for? Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we use it uh, across the board for, for all shapes and sizes and age ranges. Uh, one thing I was gonna touch on when you talked about phase one and phase two is you know, over the course of our partnership with the technology, we've collected you know, over 200,000 foot scans yeah. and email addresses are tied to that, right? Yep. So we have the customer history on the product that they purchase uh, when, when you speak to the fit genius component, uh, incorporating that into the customers, just their, their history and maybe forecasting out future buying cadence, uh, it helps immensely um, with online upsell, cross-sell opportunities because you have the data there to where customers that purchase you know, X are highly likely to also enjoy why. And you know, I think for any retailer, uh, being able to suggestively sell via .com, it, it's, a, it's a big challenge. And to have that information accessible as you continue to get scans and as you continue to build partnerships through foot.com, uh, we believe that that's gonna be a really key component over the next three to five years. Thanks. Cool. Any other, qu any other questions? All right. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah.